Howdy folks, welcome back to the Sets and Bennett career mode here on Madden 24, episode 3. We got a big game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's get into this. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there you get a look at Paycor Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. Tonight, it's the second of our Monday night doubleheader, as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. It's Sets and Bennett rallying the troops. Let's get out here and let's ball, man. We had a great game last time out. We've changed around some sliders, giving a little bit more leeway, or uh, giving a little bit of help to the defensing, deep, deep, defensive run defense. We'll see what happens. We kick off. Bengals can't put anything on the board. And here come the Rams. First things first. To the coaching depth chart, we are going to put in. Well, we signed Zonovan Knight, apparently. When did we sign Zonovan Knight? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go Zach Evans as the one here. Because I like Zach Evans. And Cam's going to get his carries regardless. They go play action here on first down. Flushed out right. To Cooper oh, Cup, the main to receiver. From last week, six catches, 181 yards, and three touchdowns. What a game it was for him. He was killer. He was insane. Let's get Cam Akers going here. This will be our first upgrade of the series with Stetson after this, as Cam's going to run it for eight. An easy first down. Through two games thus far, it's not a start that's going to set the world on fire, but they've been pretty solid nonetheless. And the first thing that crosses my mind is certainly beats hitting the hole with Evans, and he stops, takes the block, he's to the 20 into the 15 before he's pushed out. And on Zach Evans' first run, he runs it for 48 yards. A big play there for LA. 48 yards on the ground. Now Bennett to throw on first down. And it's broken up. Good D. So. It'll be second down here. So after the incompletion on first, now second and Get Evans involved here. On the play action. Bennett bootlegging, firing. It's caught by Cup. Touchdown, Rams. What a great throw. And Bennett's off to a hot start. Evans is going to be our main back. Akers the two. That's up the middle. And Evans makes a man miss. Look at the running from Zach Evans. The holes are open and he is drilling them. Making moves. And already 73 rushing yards for the Rams. Akers to the outside. He's got a first down or near it. It'll be second and inches. He was solid last week over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Akers on the far outside, and we're going to take a shot here. It's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be. We'll go Van Jefferson for about four yards or so. A first down for the Rams. Haven't had to do much offensively. Off the bootleg, Bennett, Bennett just beating him, and he delivers a strike over the linebacker's head. Good throw, making something happen to at least complete the pass. Bennett showing off some speed there. 
Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. Evans will only get three on this one. Okay, RPOs are unique because you can run and pass the ball. Practice the three times. Yeah, when choosing to pass, be sure to throw quickly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the end of the first anyway, and I didn't really want to run the RPO, but I saw the bubble screen. I was like, that's a Rams play. Alright, we'll run it again. Nothing's open there. We'll see what they do here. It'll be to Zach Evans, first down, eight yards, and he's going to go down. Uh-oh. Zach Evans is hurt and heading back to the locker room. So Akers comes back out. Outside to Cooper Cup. He's going to get it down to the 17. Cup has probably been the number one fantasy receiver for, through his first couple weeks. Akers. Oh, he couldn't get away from him. We're only going to get a couple. I think he's going to have to stay out in this case. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. Looking good for Akers to run up the middle for another 10 yard gain. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaking up on that. It's been all rushing offense so far for the Rams. The counter play. Akers cuts it back. Shakes one, but isn't getting much further than that. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. So, second and goal. And it's to Higby. He holds on. Touchdown, Rams. Come on now. 14 0. We're going to have to switch to all Madden if this keeps going. His first touchdown here. Good play. And it's 14 to 7 now. Zach Evans will make her turn. Guess it's not really my choice. He's having some problems with his back. He's only going to get one here. Oh, I thought we had that other one. You got to stay out here, man. Plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little. Jailbreak screen. Atwell will have about seven. Tutu can run. So I don't mind that play. I think it's a good idea. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Guess we're running the ball up the middle with Evans. He's gonna get it four yards. Straight up the middle. Cup setting up in the backfield with us. And he's wide open. But is he going to have any room to run? No. Loses one. We're going to run a little hurry up here. That's big. Yeah. I can't throw that across my body because that's going to get jumped and it's 14s. Mm, not a good throw. Right now we're all even. It's a tie game as we drop you back into the offense. Tie game here. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look And a good throw to Cup and he's right back into it. If there's one thing sets and Bennett's good at. It's getting back into things. Figuring out the best way to attack after a loss. You can run the ball a little bit here. And Evans is only going to get two. That'll bring us to the two-minute warning. We do have three timeouts. Is he okay? I hope he's, he looked fine. All right. So in a tie ball game here. Looking for the touchdown, obviously, but... At least get us in field goal range here. They're on a slip screen. Back to throw. Better. 
Bennett makes the throw, and Evans is up ended. He's going to get five, but goodness gracious. And we have 2-2 two, two Atwell on the out route. Good, good throw, good route. Bennett continues to throw the ball well. A release from Higby. He makes Bannon miss. He runs a guy over. He's to the 11. We will hurry up here. Akers out on the field. They blitz. They go. Akers not much room. We'll call our first timeout there. He's going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. As he'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Pick up an extra four there. Not bad. with the ball on the seventh. Again, he'll drop to throw. Higby is hit immediately. Let's go here. 25 seconds. The play action jet sweep. It's going to work. It is not. And Stett is going down. Uh, let's call the timeout here. Well, we do not score the touchdown. Crosby will put it through. It is 17 to 14. And that'll end the first half. Bengals get ball first in the second, and they go score a touchdown. So we've got work to do. And Bennett is making the throws on the run right now. He is 15 for 17. Let us run our play action. Things are going to look good. Got a guy coming off the end here. Oh, and he just missed him. Tyler Higby coming off the field now. Lots of injuries. So Bryce Hopkins steps in. Second and ten back to the play action. It's worked so well today. Bennett. Running and close to the first is going to be called third and inches. And a really good run there from Bennett. Evans first down and it's a three yard carry. He continues to play well and a Tyler Higby has a torn labrum. He's out for the year. No. That's a big deal. Higby is a great receiving tight end. Akers is met. Easy play for Wilson. Read it the whole way in. And we cannot get it to Cup. A third and 13. It's picked. That's a pick six. What a play from Daxton Hill. Touchdown, Bengals. Been at second pick of the day. And if we want to get back into this, things are going to have to go. In a 180, Evans loses three. Good play recognition from that defensive tackle. But Evans breaks the, breaks a couple there and gets eight. Partner, like the play call coming right after a tackle for a loss because 
This is an obvious passing situation, but instead they pulled them a little bit with the screen. This looks like they it could be a, they lost, and then a, little bit a blitz. Back to throw. Sit down, Cooper. He got the first. We're going to get this thing going here. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Set. Come on, set. <laughs> that is way off the mark. Can't get rid of the run game completely. We'll run it here with Evans. Uh, yeah. That's about how things are going right now. Third and 11. Bennett fires, and it's off target. Matt Ariza returns. Finally vindicated after everything that happened. Good for him. We will tackle him at the 29. So... Rams stall again. Here come the Bengals. The 2-0 Cincinnati Bengals are up by 18 now. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Well, if it's going to start, it's going to start now. We have a man. It's out of his reach. Stetson has lost all. Oh. Sense of accuracy this half, man. Oh, that's that's tough. Nothing there. We throw it away. Gotta have a first. Gotta have a first. Right now, the play caller is thinking. What have I done before this worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful. And it is deflected. Good defense. And eyes were on Cooper Cup there. And a fourth down. What do we even go to here, man? And they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. Cup, it's batted away. Both in his town and amongst his team. Bengals take over 42-17. Offense respond. Their defense just gave Let's up run the ball. Touchdown. This now one's over. Opportunity. First and ten. They start the drive with Evans. Evans yeah. will run it for Near thirteen. The the yards on we can get our when we can get our run game going, things go a lot better. So from the thirty-nine now, they'll come up on a first and ten. Looking to throw. Bennett. Good defense. Cooper Cup, the targeted time, receiver. Have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game. Using that is, that's defense. incredible defense. There's nothing I could have done there. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much third of the and ten. Getting outside there, and that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not outside the cup, and he has it. It's a first down. I can't give up either. So signs of life and what's been a dormant. Snap it! Snap it! Snap it! Snap it! Here's first and ten. We've got him beat now. Two, two out. Well, it's over. So. Oh, that's it. We have got to figure this out, man. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Back to throw again. Ooh, not there. Not there. Bennett gets out and fumbled it. It's going to get out of bounds. So they will gain a bit of yardage on the play, actually, and they'll hold on to the football as well. Can almost see inside his face mask there the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone came around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were quick throw to Cup, it's gonna make it a little easier on fourth here. Operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. And it's batted down. 
Bengals take over again. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. Our offense goes completely silent in the second half. Evans making some guys miss and he continues to run well. Should have never went away from long away from the run game. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. Yeah, they'll go right back to Evans. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Escape and it might have some line. room to run, and he will. Yeah, he's up out of bounds at the 41. Field, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. See if we can get Acres going. They'll run out of the gun with Acres. There you go, good run, Cam. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. 2-2 two -two running deep. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Not gonna be open. Hello. That's grounding. Oh, we didn't get out. Let's get the call. Oh, it's a hold. Never mind. Hey, they got better looking refs this year. It's about time. Yeah, one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. Hit a block. And and then it will run for 10. Right get some practice in and in the hurry set. up. Back to throw now on second and ten. And look who is wide open in the end zone. Who else would it be? Cooper Cup touchdown. That is how our day on offense will end sadly. Down 18. A beautiful ball. Ah, dang, man. That was a fun one, though. There's also something to be said about our defense not being great, but we also gave them seven points. And 14 if you count the position we put them in. <laughs> it's 42 to 24 is your final. The Bengals are going to win it. Monday night prime time. It's an ideal start as Burrow balls out on the young at 142.8 rating, 264 yards on four touchdowns, 195 for Bennett, three touchdowns, but also two picks. Rushing-wise, mixing kind of an average day, but Zach Evans was great. Cam Akers was good. Bennett even ran for 43. I'm not sad about how we ran the ball today. Jamar Chase was filthy. Cooper Cup with another 10 catch day, or another 100 plus yard day. Two touchdowns again, 10 receptions. 2 2 Atwell, okay. Yeah. Not much outside of Cooper Cup. We're definitely targeting him pretty hard. But we will have our first upgrade of the series here today. Let's see what we can get. Yeah. What did, oh, that's XP. Yeah, throw. Whatever. And we get some XP if we hit that next one. What is the experience? It says eight. Is there a different system this year? I doubt it. To get to a scheme, we're going to go with Field General. We're still a 62, but definitely some good stuff. Two plus two of the awareness, and then we get throw accuracy deep and throw accuracy mid plus one a piece. So. I mean, that does something for us. At least we get up to 79 on deep accuracy um, and then 72 on medium. The awareness is up to 65. Our morale is a little low. Um, wish I could change his dev trait. I think it would make this series more interesting. Can you earn that kind of stuff? I don't know. 
We're going to try to get him to a scheme fit, but not sure if it's going to happen. Oh, we're 63. We did go up in overall. Nice. Okay. Uh, Cooper Cup still leads the league in yards and touchdowns and almost receptions. <laughs> so that's pretty solid. Our next game will be against the who? The Indianapolis Colts. Okay, that's not an easy defense. We'll see what we can do against them. They are one and two, so they're not insane. Um, and we'll go ahead and do all this stuff. We do this so we can start the episode with um, the game and the next one. So X Factor DT. Uh, word of warning. Yeah, I'm gonna intimidate. Buckner. Don't get me going, man. Score one plus rushing touchdowns with any member of your team, and we get some XP. So, all right. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That is uh, the Sets of Bennett Career Mode, Episode 3, in the books.